Hi guys. Um, I'm halfway through doing the project with the my homemade screen using an old X4 controller, and um, I'm waiting for a load of paint to dry. And whilst the paint is drying on the case, I thought I would do a quick conversion so you can use the FlySky radio with a lipo pack because. I've had enough of getting through a AA batteries. It only takes four and it rinses through them so quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip the batteries out, take the case off, solder it in a connector, which I have already purchased from my model shop. And then that will allow me to use a 2S LiPo. However, I will be using a voltage regulator in line, uh, which is currently in one of my Nitro model cars. So hopefully this will eliminate the need for me to ever buy batteries for this radio again. I can just grab one of my LiPo packs, either a 1500 pack or my 1100 pack. That is a 1300 pack. And I can just whack it in, charge it up, and woohoo, away I go. So uh, let's get started. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do with the FlySky radio is remove the batteries, that might help. And undo all the screws in the back of the case and just take the casing off. Just a quick heads up this will invalidate your warranty, so uh, only do this if you're confident. Right, now unfortunately, I cannot get this lead off, so I'm just going to do it in situ. Um, what I'm going to do is essentially just cut these off when I find my scissors. I really should be using snips, but I can't find any. So this is the uh, what connects the battery box to the system. Uh, and all I'm going to do is take my plug, solder the two, stick a bit of heat shrink on there. Jobs are good. So there we have our nice heat shrinked new cable. Bring the radio back. Clear a bit of space. Put aside that. Oh. So it turns out that is not the antenna for the radio. That is up inside the handle. So, for future reference, don't worry about blocking that. It's the handle you want to be careful of. Right. Now I'm going to feed this through the original battery box because I'm just going to velcro the uh, velcro the lipo pack on the back like I can do with all my radio gear feed it through Once that's done, close it all back up, stick the screws in and screw it back in again. Now what I would say is you can plug a battery pack directly into that, but make sure it's 6 volts. Anything greater, you run the risk of creating a lot of heat inside the radio, because, the radio transmitter, because it has a linear voltage regulator inside. And it's better off to have the voltage regulator external with the heat outside the radio than possibly frying your interior. So you can pick those up online for a couple of quid uh, in your local hobby shop. Um, I've got a 6 volt 5 amp linear regulator which is what I use with all my receivers on my nitro cars and that cost me between, I think that cost me about £8 for my local model shop. Uh, You'll find it quite easily, just search LiPo Regulator. Right, so I've done the mod on the Fly Sky so that I can run a LiPo. Just did that. Um, and I thought I'd run around looking for my voltage regulator. It turns out it was just there, right behind me in one of my nitro cars. Uh, this LiPo is getting a bit puffy. Uh, I'm going to have to replace that soon. But here is the regulator in question 6 volt, 5 amp. Um, normal. AA batteries are 1.5 volt each, so by having four, you have six volts. So this should work. I hope, fingers crossed. We're gonna, 
we'll soon see. So, uh, just gonna plug that in. If I just move the camera down, hopefully you can see this. So, being a fly sky, it's gonna ask me to put every switch up on the throttle down. Ah, we have power! Full power, this battery is, should be fully charged actually. I only charged out the other day to run a nitro car around. So, I'm able to do that. Huh. Ah, me being a knob. Right, so there we go. That is how you fit a LiPo in your Flysco radio. And you can just stick a bit of Velcro out there, there, wherever you want. Velcro the, well, what I'm gonna be doing is I will Velcro, oh, stop messing about. Velcro the regulator there, I can Velcro the battery there. It's out of the way, it's up there. When you're dying and you're using the radio, it's going to be out of the way of your hands and you'll have no problems. So, uh, yeah, all works as it should. So, thank you for watching my quick video on how to fit a LiPo or run a Flysky FSI6 radio gear off a LiPo. So, anyway, like and subscribe for more.